certainly give the Japanese hell when the moment arrives. The 31st anniversary of the Chinese Revolution was celebrated in Chengtu, the ancient capital of Sichuan, with a military display. And that's natural enough, for it was here that China's Sandhurst was established in the early days of the Republic. The cadets that passed through this training course form the backbone of the Chinese army. And however that training may vary from Western methods, the results are 100%, proved by our Eastern allies' superb resistance to Japan. The display included bayonet fighting, a demonstration of every Chinese soldier's eagerness to come to grips with the Japs. And although China has been terribly handicapped by lack of modern weapons, help is now on the way. General Chang Chun in Mufti, the governor of the province, inspected the parade of army and air force men before the march passed. At one time, this military academy was trained by German officers, which probably accounts for the Chinese goose step. Of all the United Nations, China was the first to resist aggression. A great fight has already played a unique part towards the eventual defeat of the Axis. China, or Chongqing to be precise, on the anniversary of the